I, you know, I've, I've spoken before the legislature, which is high pressure, because often what happens is you have just a very small time. So I have been told that I've had 10 minutes, and I go and I have a, I have a minute. And so I have to think about what are the important parts. So I need to know precisely what are the m most important messages. If I only could get across one message, what would it be? And when the light starts, you know, when they go from, from green to yellow to red, you, you feel yourself kind of hyping up. So I've done a lot of that kind of uh, speech. I was the uh, goodwill uh, commence our keynote speaker for, a, for the large breakfast when they were first actually beginning. I've done a lot of different kinds of presentations. I think the ones that I enjoy the most are those that allow me to, to teach in addition to just giving a speech. So my goal usually is to is to make it relevant to the audience. Sometimes you can do that if you can't engage, if, if the setting is one where your, your speaking has to be one, one way. You might do, I might do things like, so I'd like you to think about a time. Think about a time when you were a student and you had something really important to learn. What was that like? for you. I might pause. So does everybody have a, a time in their life when they were a student in some form or fashion, when they were trying to learn something? And then I may, you know, pause and then go in and say, well, you know, let me tell you about a time for me, or let me tell you about um, uh, Jose, who is a student who was doing X, Y, and Z. Here's what happened for him. Can, do any of you can relate to that? And so even though I might be giving a presentation, what can I do to engage you and bring you into the conversation and, and hold your attention and create some interest that makes it about you? 